Hello, good morning. I think we had a very full snack um, and some of them are still having a hard time climbing up the stairs. So, but, but well, let's not wait because the ne next speaker is somebody whom I've waited for ages, so I'll do this fast. Okay, as I present to you the conference workshop overview, I think I need to give you a short background of the Asian University Digital Resource Network, or the nickname AUDRN. First, I'd like to quote Anne Ostendahl of the United Board Program Director, who said that the United Board's Local Knowledge Initiative promotes new ways that local knowledge can be collected, preserved, and shared by university faculty, researchers, library staff, and students using inexpensive digital tools and media in teaching and learning, research, and expanding library and reference materials collections. As reported in the United Board 2009 Annual Report, the Local Knowledge, Knowledge Initiative provides a channel for colleges and universities across the region to share information and resources, gain training and experience in using digital tools, and generate new opportunities for collaboration. Key first steps in launching a network were taken at the United Board's May workshop in Hong Kong in 2009, Digital Humanities in Asia, Global Technologies, and Local Knowledge, where 50 specialists representing 37 institutions from 10 countries exchanged their perspectives and experience in creating and using collections of local knowledge. Some of those who attended that first workshop are here with us today. I think we have two, and two from the Philippines, including myself. Um, that was especially important for me because I celebrated my birthday then. <laughs> AUDRN with Miriam College as its host has the primary co objective to bring about collaboration among Asian universities, particularly in preserving and sharing Asia's local knowledge through online and in-person training, online interest groups, and websites. AUDRN has organized and successfully run workshops that featured Web 2.0 or 2.0 tools in the context of sharing culture and local knowledge. The first workshop with the theme, Preserving and Sharing Culture Through Digital Tools in Yogyakarta, Indonesia, was hosted by the Duta Wakana Christian University, designed to be highly interactive with a mix of lectures, discussions, group and individual exercises. It was attended by 28 participants from 19 Indonesian universities and colleges. This was followed by a second workshop, Sharing Culture and Service Learning Through Digital Tools in Manila at Miriam College, which brought about 30 academics and librarians from around the Philippines. The Manila workshop had a diverse range of resource persons who shared their best practices that could be useful in e-learning and service learning designs. Building on the successes of the earlier workshops, AUDRN organized a series of smaller workshops or field camps to share research and or academic projects on local knowledge. A short field trip to a nearby local destination Local cultural destination provide the input for a guided lecture by an expert with a discussion to identify current trends in action research. A demonstration and exploration of the use of digital tools in the participants' respective disciplines followed. These two field camps are organized for Luzon colleges and universities by the La Salle Canlubang and by the University of Baguio. And for the Southern Philippines participants, we had three workshops organized by Ateneo de Sambuanga University. AUDR websites evolved through 2011 to a set of formal official AUDRN work websites. So we have AUDRN.net and AUDR.org, which is own domain, and a community site at people.audrn.net. Look for that. I'm sure some of you already are members of this community website. The official AUDRN 
the org website version contains more targeted information on the initiative and has a brochure type design, according to Joel Rubienko. Inform information this site includes the network's home, about page, and links to funded projects, activities which include announcements on upcoming events, the use of digital tools in documenting local knowledge for teaching and learning pro purposes across different academic disciplines. This site will like, like, likewise be the main reference for possible funding partners of the network. The AUDRN.org version contains a broader range of contents and related resources. The community slash social network site, people.audrn.net, don't forget that http dot slash slash, reflects the knowledge network and community of practice models of Web 2.0. Online community building, which is associated planning and management, underpins the process of updating the Ning site. In order to help nurture organic growth of member collaboration and sharing, we had guest bloggers who posted local knowledge-related blog entries at the site. Um, one of these was our famous Alice Panyares. And we also have a participant here. Um, Diana, are, are you around? Diana? Oh, there. She was also a guest blogger. Now, no more a guest. Okay, you're now a official AUDRN blogger. Okay, uh, these bloggers maintain substantial online presence and possessing a broad social graph, for example, on Facebook and Twitter. Likewise, as key opinion leaders, especially in relation to higher education, they were invited to talk as resource persons at the workshops and field camps. Very interestingly is that AUDRN is supporting five universities to conduct research which aims to develop and evolve reference models for documenting local knowledge that encourage broad cross-institutional collaboration, collaboration using digital tools. The, resor the results of four researchers, researches will be shared in the conference. So we have four um, participants or groups of participants right here. The researchers topics are varied, representing both the breadth of local knowledge in the Philippines and the research institution's expertise. Now, this brings us to our conference workshop, Discovering Local Knowledge in the 21st Century, Connecting Classrooms to the World. United Board has selected 13 academics from partner colleges and universities, you know who you are. And AUDRN has chosen 41 participants from higher education unit institutions in the Philippines. The conference part presents best practices of five experts, you already heard two, in the area of local knowledge, digital tools, and teaching, and showcases 13 research projects. After this overview, we will listen to two experts. The esteemed cultural heritage guru, Dr. Fernando Shalcita, in the morning, right after me, and poet, Dr. Rebecca Anunievo, in the afternoon. Today, there are seven research presentations, four United Board fund funded researches, two AUDRN researches, and one research of a field camp participant. Tomorrow morning, look at day two of your program. After our official event photo shoot, very important to be present there at 8 o'clock, there are six research presentations, three United Board fund funded researches and three AUDRN researches. The conference portion concludes with a conference summation by Dr. Aaron Boritz, United Board Program Director. Tomorrow afternoon, the portion, the workshop portion starts with, so we finish with the conference, then we have the workshop. Starts with a short message from the president of Miriam College, Dr. Rosario Olapus, and we will listen to another expert, Dr. Edison Fermin, who will talk on teaching by understanding. We will then provide an opportunity for you participants to undergo a one-day fieldwork exposure 
in 12 different cultural environs of Miriam, oh, sorry, not Miriam, Metro Manila, and nearby provinces of Rizal, Laguna, and Bulacan. There will be four to five participants and one guide per area. We will give you the opportunity to choose your area at the end of today. First come, first serve. However, we request that each group be composed of one international participant and three to four local participants from different institutions. So you'll have to say goodbye to your friends if you come from the same institutions. Then, Mr. Joel Yubienko, AUDRN coordinator, will explain further the workshop overview. There will be a fieldwork orientation followed by planning with the guides. The whole day Wednesday will be devoted to the fieldwork, although some groups may start immediately on Tuesday evening. So be ready for that uh, because there are nightlife um, activities. Thursday morning will be sent in field work processing and preparation of the report in the computer laboratory. Reflection sharing and a roundtable discussion on network building through institutional partnerships will also be given time and space on the fifth day in the afternoon to explore the sustainability and multi-stakeholder collaborative character of the AUDRM. So this is the overview of the next five days of this conference workshop. We look forward to a collaborative and productive learning experience. Mabuhay. Thank you very much, Dr. Bhai.